Hello, good afternoon to the Shins, and this is again your learning partner, teacher Anna. So, welcome back, and this is again teacher Anna. So, can you share to me how was your weekend, guys? <laughs> so, I hope you have a very good weekend. So, now, let's have our lesson. So, last week we have learned uh, i mean last last week because last week we don't have any class so last last week we learned about lesson three and this is understanding culture and society so we are going to learn about anthropology and social sociology so prepared by yours truly so let's go let's have the next one so so our ILO or the intended learning outcomes for today. Yeah, so at the end of the lesson, you are expected to discuss the historical circumstances that led to development of the uh, anthropology and sociology. We also have, we need to identify the subfields under anthropology okay and then and sociology so we are also going to explain the importance of these disciplines as fields of study and practice so let's have the next one so let's try to know about cultures so maybe some of you will already already know what is the meaning of anthropology so anthropology is the study or the science of culture so um, what do you think what is the meaning of culture so when we say culture it is an inseparable from society culture shapes society into its present form and society in turn influences certain cultural practices okay so just like our national animal which is karabao or kalabao so this is part of our culture and always remember that the culture shapes society so yung kultura natin yun yung uh, gumagawa or nagsishape ng society pero in turn then uh, they are vice versa and related to each other. Si society then nag influence sa ating kultura. So, so, that is what we called culture. Now, let's go to the next one. So, let's try to know about anthropology. So, ano pala talaga yung anthropology? So, anthropology is the science of culture. So, people live. So, to yung ano nagsasabi ng culture natin so ano yung pinag-aaralan pinag nila so pinag-aaralan nila yung uh, buhay ng tao people's lives our habits our practices uh, daily routines we also have vary from place to place and even from individual to individual so di ba lahat tayo is unique every, every one of us is different and you're unique for example, in the Philippines, we are late in school or work. <laughs> we may be sanctioned. <laughs> so, this is one of our uh, habits and routines na kadalasan talaga sa atin na late sa school at saka sa trabaho. Even in online class, matagal din po mapasok ang mga sudyante. I don't know why or maybe they are sleeping. <laughs> Just like that. So, uh, let's try to define what is anthropology. So anthropology defined the word is derived from the Greek words anthropos and logos. Okay, anthropos and logos, which mean human and discourse or science. So anthropos meaning human and so logos it's a science or a discourse. So anthropology is scientific study of humankind, its origins, pattern of interaction, so saan tayo nang galing, so si, si anthropology or anthropology saan nagsasady dito. And then our patterns of interactions as well as physical and sociocultural development. So kahit nga yung genes nga nakuha natin sa ating parents, uh, that is uh, some of the reasons 
while why we are uh, taas, pandak, hana. So they are interrelated to anthropology. So anthropology is the central ideas, uh, the central ideas of anthropology date back to ancient history. The Greek historian Herodotus writing about conflicts. So dahil sa conflicts, uh, gusto na ni, uh, ni Her Herodotus na malaman talaga yung culture and background of each uh, people. And then, ito, ito yung nagsimula sa conflicts ng Greek and the Persian Empire. So, remark that Greece was dominant culture of West, while Persia was the dominant culture of the East. So, so West daw yung dominant culture is si Greece, while in the East... So, the dominant culture is Persia. So, sometimes, dahil magkaiba yung kultura natin, hindi, magka, ano, hindi magkasundo. And then, sometimes, then it, it uh, resulted into war. So, now let's go to the next one. So, let's try to know about Hogo Grotius. So, ito si Hogo Grotius, guys. So, ito yung sumulat ng libro na on the law of war and peace. So, sino na nakabasa dito ng on the law of war and peace? So, I hope you have learned a lot from that. So, si Hugo Grotius is uh, born in 1583 and died on 1645. So, in 1865, he is a Dutch jurist and scholar. So, magaling pala, pala, pala talaga ito sa ano, sa law or sa mga balaod si Hogo Grotius. So, in reaction to the long, better wars being waged on his own country and throughout Europe, so dahil dito, na-publish na yung the Jore Belle Passes on the Law of War and Peace. So, ang gusto niya, it is an attempt to create general theory of law and would regulate war and minimize bloodshed. So, dito na nagsimula yung mga brotherhood and sisterhood ng mga, uh, ng mga country. Bakit hindi na lang tayo mag, ano, tulungan, mag-unite? Huwag na, na, na lang tayo mag, ano, mag-away. So, para saan pala yung war? Para saan pala yun? So, when you talk about war, you have a lot to, uh, ano, meron kang marami na uh, bagay na isusuko mo, like for example, your place, your land, your people. So, maraming bagay na dapat ano, isa alang-alang kapag merong war. So, that's why a lot of leaders would really love peace because uh, we tend to forget how to to live in a very good life if there is war. So, wala nang maayos sa tirahan, wala na lahat kapag merong war. So, hindi talaga maganda yung war. Next is, let's go to the next one. So we also have Thomas Hobbes. So this is Thomas Hobbes. For him, it is not wisdom but authority that makes a law. So, uh, totoo din yun, uh, totoo din to no, na uh, sinasabi ni Thomas Hobbes. Like, if you have authority, if you have the capacity to lead, then that would be, uh, that is someone or that will make a law. So, that's why ang uh, isang tao, kung meron siyang authority, dapat sana mabait siya, maganda yung ugali, and kanang yung ano talaga niya is for the good of all uh, human being. So, that's why wisdom, and, uh, wisdom is also really good. Like, you are applying what you have learned and some of the ideals. But uh, if wisdom and authority is uh, ano na siya, magkasangga na siya, meron kang nalalaman, you have a lot of knowledge and you have, you know how to apply it. And then, meron ka ding authority just like Duterte. So, makagawa ka talaga ng uh, maraming batas na makakatulong sa lahat ng tao or so a lot of people. So, that is Thomas Hobbes. So, also, Thomas Hobbes is an English philosopher siya published his seminal work, Leviathan. In it, he postulated that human beings' natural state is one in which individuals are at war with each other. So, ang problema kasi kahit 
inside and uh, in a city or in a government or in a country. Um, marami ding war, like uh, mga ano, cold war. Like, hindi magkasundo yung bawat isa. And then, and self-interest and principle driving force behind human activity. So, sana, sana lang talaga, like, uh, we are going to listen to Thomas Hobbes that every individual, hindi lang sana, isipin natin yung pang sarili natin. So, because that will wage war and mawala yung ating peace. So, for Thomas Hobbes, dapat kalimutan daw yung sarili, kalimutan yung self-interest para yung wisdom at yung authority ay ating ipagana para magkaroon tayo ng kapayapaan. That is for Thomas Hobbes, the book Leviathan. We also have uh, social Darwinism. So, ano ba tong social Darwinism? Social Darwinism is the perspective and policy of applying evolutionary theory to social and political policy. So, meaning daw, ito si social Darwinism Ito yung pag-apply ng ano, Darwinism or the, his evolutionary theory sa social at sa political policy na So, di ba, galing ang tao sa unggoy. So that's why um, we we will all evolve again na so magiging or a lot of people would be really magiging matalino yun yung sa ano eh sa darwinism so meaning uh galing sa monkey now we can now uh know how to deal with ourselves how to build with society how to dress up and uh build a lot just like that that is for darwinism tapos sa social darwinism then uh, various theories of uh, society which emerged in the United Kingdom, North America, uh, claiming then uh, biological concepts of natural selection and survival of the fittest to sociology, economics, and politics. So, sa ano din, sa social Darwinism then meron din tayong iba't ibang class. So, like, for example, for the lower class, uh, ano talaga, the social Darwinism, sad to say, there are a lot of people which is in the lower class or the poverty level. Then the middle class, uh, just a little. Para siyang ano ba? Uh, tatsuluk. Uh, na ano lang talaga. Like, uh, sino yung may authority? Sino yung may kakayanan mamuno? Sino yung may pera? Sila yung nagiging leader. And then, uh, sila yung nagkakaroon ng political power. So that is also for social Darwinism. Actually, social Darwinism is also a very big scope. So meaning, uh, ginagawa mo yan para makasurvive ka. Like for example, uh, from monkey, now we become a hunter. Kasi para makasurvive tayo, kailangan tayo pumatay ng mga hayop para mayroon tayo makain. And then after that, is here comes the society. So kasi uh, beauty is power, kailangan na natin dress up. Kailangan natin masuot ng maganda at uh, be formal kasi yun din yung ano natin, pa, way of survival uh, because of the ano, uh, formality or pag, pag usubong na ng society. So we also have the, like if you are the uh, information age, kung matalino ka, marami kang alam, marami kang magagawa yun uh, ikaw na din yung ano nasa pwede ka ring mag climb up sa clutter like for example if you are in the middle class you can climb up to the upper class so that is also one for social uh, darwinism so uh, this theory that individuals groups and peoples are subject to the same darwinian laws or natural selection as plants and animals now largely discredited social darwinism was advocated by herbert spencer and others in the late and 19th to early 20th centuries and was used to justify political conservatism, imperialism, and racism and discourage the intervention and reform. So, ang pangit lang sa social Darwinism is like, kung tansulok tayo dito sa ating society and sa ating country, hindi na siya kailangan na i-intervene, hindi na kailangan na i-reform, Kung ano lang talaga yung nasa society, yun lang talaga. 
yun yung sa social Darwinism. So, that is social Darwinism. Let's go to the cultural relativism. So, what comes in your mind when you hear the word cultural relativism? Okay, from the word from the word culture and then relative. So, the principle that a culture must be viewed uh, from its own perspective rather than according to the anthropologist's own perspective. So, so cultural relativism, guys, uh, we are going to view the principles and the culture of a certain tribe or a certain group uh, in their in their eyes, talaga, like in their own perspective. Like for example, if you want to know what is the situation, what is the uh, real score of aitas in that place? So, ano ba talaga yung totoong nangyayari sa kanila? So, you need to live with them. Like for example, uh, hindi mo pwedeng i-judge kung ano sila based lang sa nakikita mo. Sa cultural relativism, you need to live with them. You need to, like for example, if you know what is the ITES doing, what are the ITES uh, living with, where, what are their hobbies, ano bang kultura talaga na ITES. So, you need to stay with them, like for example, three years, five years to really know their, ano, their culture. So, that is for cultural rel relativism. So, it means you are judging or you are making assumptions about anything or like food in other countries so based on your own norms uh, values or beliefs uh, for example thinking dried squid is smelly or people shouldn't eat insects are examples of i uh, know ethnocentrism yan siya in societies where people may not dried squid or insects so so cultural relativism we can also say that uh, the objective analysis of this one is ano talaga, understanding their the ones or uh, culture's belief and practices from the culture's point of view. And cultural relativism is not about imposing judgment or assessing the worth of other cultures. So, ito yung cultural relativism. So, hindi mo pwede i-judge ang other cultures without knowing it, without uh, viewing it in their own perspective. Okay? Not just in your perspective but in your own perspective so ito din yung cultural activism is the views that all beliefs customs and ethics are relative relative to the individual within his own context so kung ano yung uh, pinananiwalaan niya kung ano yung mga customs na sinusunod niya kung ano yung mga moral ethics or ano yung tama at saka mali sa kanya it is because of their specific culture so, what is considered moral and in one society? So, kung ano yung...